Hey everybody, it's Matt here from Piano Blog. I'm going to talk about pause practice today and how you can use it in correcting a physical habit or ingraining the correct physical habit. So pause practice is simply taking something that's uh, a quick piece of passage work or a technically difficult piece of passage work and instead of practicing it under tempo, once you kind of have the notes learned a little bit, taking small snips of the tempo or small snips of the passage work and practicing, say, four notes at a time or two notes at a time very quickly to see if the movement that you're using and the technical habit that you're using actually works up to speed. Because a lot of times what happens when you're practicing something that's really difficult is you will be able to play it under tempo with incorrect physical movements or, or movements that don't work up to speed. But then as you speed it up, those movements don't work anymore. But the problem in piano technique is if you're learning something that's difficult, you, pl you can't play it quick right away. You have to learn it at a slow speed. So it's very common for those bad or incorrect physical movements to get ingrained. And then when you try and speed it up, it's too late because they're already ingrained. So pause practice is really, really helpful. Um, to go back and ingrain correct physical habits or to make sure that the, the physical habits that you're using are actually going to work up to tempo. So I'm going to re, uh, reposition the camera so you can see my hand and I'm just going to show you a brief example of something I actually learned incorrectly and how I can use pause practice to correct this physical habit. So let me go ahead and reposition the camera here. Okay, so I repositioned here so that you can see my right hand thumb. So I was practicing, there's this Bach Busoni transcription that's quite difficult, you know, it has a lot of a lot of running passage work and stuff. And there are a lot of sections where he'll actually have running passage work in the right hand and the thumb in the right hand doing something. And there's a section at the end that's that's fairly difficult where he comes down. It looks like something like that. you know, that's about at a third of the, the speed. So what I was doing incorrectly was I was actually holding the thumb too long here. And what happened is that skews my hand position and it makes it very hard for me to get into the next hand position. You see? So I was doing things like that. And I would hold, for instance, that bottom note too long. And then I would really have to work to get to the next hand position. So what it looked like when I tried to speed it up was something like that. I'm kind of exaggerating, but you see how my my right hand was getting very locked and then I would have to try and jump very quickly to the next thumb position. So the solution to this is to actually pause after I play each uh, thumb note or each lower note here in my right hand and make sure that my right hand is immediately adjusting to the, the next hand position. So for example, right here, what I'll do is you see how I immediately adjusted outward instead of keeping my thumb in. So I'm pausing, and then if I want I can do a gentle wrist circle or just make sure I'm relaxed in here. And then I'm pausing here. Now you see the same thing here. I let go of my second finger very quickly Instead of holding it down, I can do a gentle wrist circle, and I'm in position for the thumb to play here. So you see I'm pausing after, in this case, the thumb movement, because that's where my problem is, and I need to make sure I'm actually doing the correct movement here. Okay? And then what I can do is I can actually put a couple of these together, so... so that was pretty bad. <laughs> like that, 
And then when I pause, I always think past, present, future. So I think, okay, how did that go? Was it nice and relaxed? Was there any tension? Am I relaxed right now? And then what is my next step? You know, so I can kind of pause and evaluate everything and think ahead. So I hope you find that helpful. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that's tremendously difficult like that. You can use pause practice if you're just starting out at the piano. Um, you can do it at any stage. It's really, really helpful. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing something like this too early because if you try and play quickly without first learning the notes, you're going to have a whole nother uh, set of bad physical habits. So there is kind of a back and forth between learning the notes and then trying out the technical habits that you have. And of course, it's really, really helpful to have a good vocabulary of different technical movement patterns already ingrained so that you're pretty much on the right course and then you only have to do small course corrections. But that's how you can use pause practice to ingrain a new physical habit or to ingrain the correct physical habit at the piano. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you did. Let me know if it made sense. And uh, I'll see you next time.